We are live. Let me refresh this thing. Make sure you can see me and hear me. The B looking fresh. You know, his camera's always good. Let's go. I just got the notification. All right, we're live. We're live. Oh, we're live. Okay, let me see who's here. Sneaker Pakers, what's up? The man misinformation in hand. Swoop man. Uh, let's see. Rory, Matt, D Bay, Jimmy. Uh, sneaker Pakers. Oh, there we go. The B. Intro more. Flipping the hustle. Dapper fanatic. Joanne. Brian, how are sourcing today, Brian? Miles, Omar, Pedro, Trackstar, Shoe Monster, RNJ Funky Finds, One Kick Finder, Sneaker Flip Find, Ray, what's up? The Plug, Steven. All right, Steven, thank you. Danny and Palma. Name extra bad. Brown. Extra Brown. <laughs> Is it me? I'm extra brown today. Uh, let me get my settings right. <laughs> <laughs> extra brown. All uh, right. Trap all Bundy. Rodolfo Browntown finds what up. Jonathan Brown drip. All right. 60 plus watching. More people coming in. Uh, we got a lot to get to today. Uh, B's going to go live on whatnot right after this, so he might leave a little early. Uh, but we got a lot of sneaker news, things to talk about. Uh, let me see. No sourcing today. Focus on listing. I like that, Brian. I like that. I like that. Um, all right. So we got a couple of things. First off, how are sales in the chat? eBay, Mercari. I got to tell you right now, my eBay been doing very well it's almost like someone went to ebay headquarters and like turned on a switch or something next that's thing you know is. that's what it is that's exactly like, what it is i like i went in there and type in hashtag ross finds and whoever has that on automatic all of, the, automatic. All of their yeah automatic all of their stores back up and running <laughs> so really what what happened right now is like football stuff is doing well um, so that's been helping out a lot. The problem is when teams start sucking, <laughs> and then I'm like, man, I don't want to be stuck with some of this stuff. So I kind of slow down, like, don't buy too much Jets. Don't, don't buy, buy too, too, much. <laughs> too much Jaguars. We don't, we don't want to push it. Let's see. Vic, eBay crushing it. There we go. Sneaker pickers, cleats, cleats, cleats. Pacers, what up? RJ consistent. Uh, you said Goat was doing pretty good, right? People doing good on Goat, which I would think. Uh, what's up, Baker Brand? Yes, sir. Dapper <laughs> Fanatic. No Bengals. Man, <laughs> I was like, maybe this year would be the time I would actually wear something orange. And then they showed up like that. I'm like, and, and I watched the whole, like, after halftime, I watched it. I was like, this would be a good victory. And I'm like, Typical Bengal ending. <laughs> that game was wild. It's always good to see football back. So, but it's only <laughs> one game. But even though it's only been one game, um, a lot of the uh, <clears throat> Cowboys fans are uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> a little sad right now. So, uh huh, Dookie. And uh, even to, I don't know, throw things off. Some of the memes. So apparently. Uh, the at t Stadium where the Cowboys play has now turned into a uh, spirit Halloween store. For <laughs> That's what we're down to. Uh, it's going to be a, a long season, even though one game, one game down. Uh, <laughs> Cowboys finished already. Uh, hopefully they do something to uh, get yeah, the season Yeah, hopefully alive. they do something. Glenn's got too much merch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got too much merch invested. <laughs> And then um, also the Monday night game, which I'm really surprised Broncos lost. It almost felt like Seahawks won the Super Bowl. I mean, Geno Smith had a field day. He, oh. went, he went all in. <laughs> yeah, he was not messing around after that one. Oh. <laughs> like, I got you, bro. <laughs> Uh, oh, Jimmy G trade has to happen now. Let's see what they... I mean, Cowboys got to save the season at this point. They got to do something. 
They don't have so, enough money. They paid too much money for the other two people. Yeah. Uh, they're paying Zeke a lot of money and Dak, so I don't know how they're going to do it. Love handles Gino. Wow. Wowzers. Baker brand. All right. Let's get into – we went with the memes, but let's get into the news. So Chai Snicker Deals posted this one, sitting in stores. Wow. So – Obviously, the threes. We got some Yeezys going on. What's happening? Here we um, go. I went to actually my. Oh, I went to pick up the Fire Red threes. Okay. Right, and Champs had like shoes on a table. It's like you need a size. Like just selling it to people. So. And you're, <laughs> what, what did you do? You're well, like, I did it. I'm like, I got scared. I'm like, no, I'm not buying more. I just, <laughs> um, and then, and then I saw the Yeezy. I think this is Champs, right? Yeah. Here. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and then I saw Yeezys, and I'm like, and then I didn't realize that they're two thirty now, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, I look at like StockX, like a size twelve was two sixty. I was like, oh money to be made and then i look at the shoe because i was thinking 200 for the shoe right and then i look at 230 i'm like nah <laughs> bro we are the the circle of sneaker life is back we're back to down <laughs> it's tables are turning yeah and let's see what the chat says uh retro's easy shelf warning wow there we go vintage profit i figured out what happens like goods i've seen a lot of gs says brian uh velo 360 what's up mr root what's up josh leva took l's on the fire reds on the flex apps interesting uh let me see easy sitting nothing new though sneaker pickers jimmy jazz had easy sitting easy's up in trash says vic i returned to my easy says brian yeah. So uh, that one, those are sitting. Uh, let me see if it lets me. Oh, there we go. That some one. of the other photos. That one's wild, right? So it's still sitting in stores, right? I was yeah. in a sneaker show over the weekend, and I bought a bunch for under under retail. <laughs> under under. Yeah, that's where it's at. Big money, Mo. What's up? Yeah. So it felt like it was a Nike back wall. So looking at the numbers on the threes, which we had talked about this last Wednesday when we did the releases, um, size eight, 210, 215, eight and a half. The bigger sizes, 13, were at 229. Yeah. So the size 12, 230. Somebody find a size 16. Try to what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> try to find a 16. <laughs> Uh, Sneakers Envy return more profitable than resale. <laughs> uh, sneaker pickers went from low inventory and stimulus to too much inventory and no money recession. So let's talk about what's going on. Uh, SA, we can say inflation is real. People are just keeping their money. Um, AN, what's up? People thinking harder on purchases, vintage profit. How is this shoe bricking? Big money, Mo. But, but they're. That's wild. That what? I think we have to keep tabs. Like right now, three days is thirteen forty four. So, so we'll see. We'll revisit how much more sales over the next week or so. Because yeah, I am actually surprised. Like for all the people that like white shoes, this is it, right? Yeah. This is, has to be it. Like nothing better than a fire red threes or a true blue three, or at at this price point. I mean, I would I would pass on Oreo fours or anything like that. I'd get this. Yeah. Ah, Darren, appreciate that. Rory, I like that easy, and I think it is nice, but also two thirty plus taxes, low room for profit. Yeah. And so you also sent me earlier today, just dropped. Did you which, win? No, I didn't. I didn't even know. I didn't even try. <laughs> I I just thought when I got home. And I was looking to see wh- how they were doing. Bro, we're losing money right now. I didn't even know. At checkout, it was 180 already. 
<laughs> but is it just me, Chad? Or is it is it just my account that went 180? But I paid 180 plus tax. And nice. here it is. So yellow toe. Uh, sold 525 last three days. Yeah, where is our sad horn? We had the yeah, oof. Man. I miss truck drop, Josh Leva, Nike not playing big money, Mo. 180 for ones. So market, 10 and a half, 224, 225, 232, 13, 231. And then the smaller sizes, they go down from there. 193, 189, 184. I didn't um, know they make small sizes like that on this show. Like the I five, five and a half? Yeah, I thought it was GS already. I got it, then canceled my order. Ace, I got an <laughs> 11 and a half today, Joanne. <laughs> Saw 180. Track star, inflation, main cause. Uh, things not selling, housing, groceries, medical care went up. Inflation went up. August instead of going down. Chicago ones is where people are going to go for mainly 100% SA. So not only that, I also wanted to look to see what's going on here. General purpose shoe. And uh, I know not like major heat or anything. Right. Super exciting. But even look at the numbers on these. 194, oh, 160. Though, you know what I'm saying? Can't be that bad. So some of these, I mean, the bigger size is like. 205, 305, 325. I think this is what 110 retail. Uh, but then 140, I believe 140 is retail. Oh, 140. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's oh, 110. On okay, 110. Oh, wow. Uh, 156, 168. Different, different shoe than looking at the Jordans. But um, are you holding any Jordan ones? 180 is crazy for the Jordan ones. Yeah, 110 for. Uh, it says dapper. Um, of course, they all can't be like this shoe, which uh, right. It's well, it's either like super hype or like everything below like five hundred dollars, like not doing good. <laughs> so that's where uh, this one, which we already know is gonna be sky high. Did We're also gonna look win? at this one. Which comes out this week, actually tomorrow, I think. Yeah, but retail's three hundred. Yeah, three hundred on the retail. On the <laughs> Balvin, and look at that size eight three fifty one, size ten three fifty four, yeah. three eighty eight. So yeah. I mean, these should go down. I mean, they aren't even fully out yet, really. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Big Money Well. Nothing in the middle. Like I think that's where we're at right now. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, uh, people. See, like Pain resale for these worst oh worst wannabe hype beast ever. <laughs> Coo kicks, what up? Yeah, and Palma said 129 for those after mm -hmm. shipping because they charge you shipping. Oh, okay. Uh 300 for a light up tongue. <laughs> uh let's see. Select goods, the market starting to correction, and the hype only resales will start dropping out of the game hundred percent. So this is why so here's what I want to talk about a little bit while we're here. Let's get serious now. This is why it's a good thing. <laughs> Let me tell you why. <laughs> <Yeah, I'll do. laughs> Have at it, but okay, guys, number one. the Hustler High said talk right now. Go. Okay, for, well, first off, I was talking to my friend. She works at Champs. She's like, forget Jordans, all of this stuff. Vapor Max Plus and all of these 210, 200 plus tax. She's like, no one's even looking at these shoes. Way too much. We talked about that too. 97s, 95s. Like, what's going on here with these retail prices? Like, we're not even talking about the resale value yet. Mm -hmm. These are, man, retail price sky high. And it's like, man, no one's going to be buying this stuff. Good thing for, like I said, it's a good thing. Outlets, nice, Ross, Burlington, Marshalls might come back. These stores are going to start eating all this stuff up. Going to get down. Mm -hmm. Gonna start show up. We've already seen it starting to show up in stores again. That's good for us. Here's the thing, though. We've been doing this for a long time. I appreciate a lot of people in the chat that have been watching for a very long time that has been supporting for a long time. Nobody felt bad when Ross and Burlington didn't have anything anymore. No one's like, oh, you all oh, hustler hacks. You can't find anything anymore. <laughs> oh, this and that. No one feels bad. Actually, matter of fact, 
people enjoyed the fact that some of the stores were closed for a bit and there was nothing out there and we're like oh now, now let's see how they're going to survive mm-hmm. now that it's coming back it's like now we have to feel bad for the hype beast resellers because things aren't doing good <laughs> like that's part of the business is the up and down is the roller coaster like it's not going to be easy that you just make money and whatever you want. And now it's kind of like, all right, well, you got to really dig deep and figure out how you're going to be profitable in this market. It's mm-hmm. not going to be easy. Go ahead, B. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm, you know, like I have some savage in me and I have some soft in me. But in the business side, we, you know, whether you're doing it for five, full-time or part-time business in general is savage, right? That's why we're in this unique community that we're helping each other, even though we're competing in the same market. Right. Um, But, but that's just the nature of it. I mean, I think you, you know, you brought a good point. It's up and down. Um, There's going to be ones that's not going to be able to make it, Um, you know, and you have to learn how to pivot. And I mean, me and Glenn just had a conversation earlier. And it's like, wow, like we've pivoted our business. If you think about it, we're still in the same industry, but we've pivoted the inventory that we've sold so many times, right? Like from soccer cleats, from I went from cold con, converse clothing and even glenn you've you guys have seen glenn do hardcore hats i've never seen that in him right so yeah. but now it's just evolving but i think the advantage of pivoting at the same time too is everything that we've learned before is still there it's just that not the right market to play around with right so when things circle back bearing that knowledge that we already have we can reapply it again to what's uh, available during that market. So I think that's the beauty of looking at this business or even our our community in a long-term fashion. Uh, because we two years ago, we were locked down. We, we couldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. But now I'm still, you know, I'm still grateful that I can go to an Nike outlet and find something that I could make money on. Yeah. Compared to before that there was nothing. So. So I think it's part of the whole, you know, business uh, thing. And at least we have s- support, like this kind of community that we can talk about. <laughs> oh, 100%. Like Big Money Mo, it's a hustle, remain a hustle. And that's where I think, of course, we're going to see a lot more people falling out. Because when it comes to the hype beast reseller, the reason why you're going to find out <laughs> some of the reason why they wanted to do it was because of the flex. Mm-hmm. And because going into a Ross and buying an Air Max 95 and flipping it is not a huge flex. It's not a huge fancy type of thing to where like, look at all this cash coming in. Look at all the Supreme, look at all the money I have because I'm buying all this stuff. And that's the reason why a lot of these people even got into it to begin with for flex culture. It's like, yeah. Are you, sorry, so you're trying to run a business or you're trying to look good online. Right. Right. I only bought, I bought Supreme one time. That's when I found that shirt at Ross. I've never bought any Supreme ever. But why though? Because like I'm trying to run a business here. I'm not trying to hear trying to flex for this kind of stuff, but that's where I think it's gonna weed out a lot of that over time. Mm-hmm. And we're starting to see it now. Yeah. So exactly. I mean, I mean, how many people are here right now? 125. 125. How many people were here during uh you know? what two years ago when me you and jake were doing guessing games on shoes yeah because we had no other content and we couldn't go to stores to source anything like we had to figure out how to still make content still talk about things and pivot the business yeah like exactly i mean we went online shopping right we 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 did twitter hunting right i remember that like everybody went to like uh uh cook groups and stuff like that and we were just scouring the twitter for some deals and we made it <laughs> like it, it doesn't get easier you just get better and that's what i think too is like and not only we talk about pivoting though but not putting all your eggs in one basket to where like 
And that's what I appreciate a lot of the people that are in the chat that are like, hey, I'm I'm doing good on Amazon. And I'm like, I want to see you do, do good on Amazon. I'm doing good on eBay. I'm doing good on Goat, Mercari, whatnot came out of nowhere too. And that's why we like talking about it all because if you can figure out ways to make money on the different platforms, not just depend on one to where like something doesn't work anymore, you got some other options to play with. And that's mm -hmm. what I like about it too. So that's why every time we say like, well, how are sales? We mention every platform because there's money to be made everywhere. You just got to figure it out and put yeah. those pieces together. Yeah. Zach, what's up? Hustle and muscle. Uh, let me see. Jake was clowning fools YouTube pages because <laughs> Jake, where is that boy Jake? Gotta bring him on here. Stealthy finds, we're still here. Yes, sir. LA Gonzalez, what up? Uh, Eric watches YouTube, a lot of resellers also got into the hype reselling because they were simply interested in those types of shoes themselves. Mm -hmm. Very true. You got high um, in their own supply. Those hype sellers miss a lot of outlet finds. Yeah, because an Air Max 97 isn't sexy. Yeah. It's not sexy for IG. Yeah. And like, <laughs> but they'll make money. If you're uh, got a business to run and Big Money Mo finds them for an extra 30, 40, 50% off and they're going to bring in double the profit, take that all day. Yep. Let me see. Where is Jake? That's a good question. Uh, we're starting to add digital products to Etsy. There we go, Mr. Eric. Sexy for my bankroll. There we go. Se uh, select goods. All right. Off white, everything off white, everything Jordan 1. Yep. We've seen all that. All right, let's get into oh anything you want to add, B, before we go. No, we're good. We're oh, good. B's good. I uh, I hold my peace. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anybody in the chat have anything to say? Uh despite me losing quite a bit of YouTube subscribers, they are coming back. So <laughs> plus 70 something in the last couple of days. So they're yeah. they're coming back slowly. <laughs> Welcome back for the ones that are that are coming back. <laughs> all right here we go let's go to uh sneaker news so they are releasing more dunks more jordan ones mm -hmm. more of everything <laughs> let's go i'm ready oh celtics april 15th it seems like a long time from now whoa i was like wait what what <laughs> days today i'm like let's <laughs> On January already, damn, we haven't even went through Christmas yet. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they just let's put it this way: they stopped talking about the the Christmas or holiday drops because they're all out in the market anyway already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they got stolen off the trucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a That's clean colorway though. Colorway not to the done right. like DMP. Done right. Highs. They didn't mess it up. Well, actually, this is a mock-up from Z Sneakerhead, so you can actually only hope that it looks like this. Boy. I don't know what it. <laughs> I don't know what it's really gonna look like. like. You know, it's shiny. It's patent. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Oh man, next. Dunk low, magma orange. September twenty-seventh. I mean, we're gonna see so many dunk lows and. What about those? Remember the eBay ones we talked about those? They're coming out. Yeah, they are coming out. They have auction, though. Dang mm. it. Uh, next. Washed Black, June 10th. Man, they're really getting ready for next year. <laughs> and also, there's like a pink one, too. There it is. Washed Pink. <laughs> washed Pink and Washed Black. <laughs> next thing you know, the next one is Washed Reseller. <laughs> 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 Look at this guy. <laughs> Shoe MD, what's up? Tired of dunks, Josh Leva. Yeah, June sourcing code. June already. And there's the pink one. Let's see. Would you rock the pink one? It's a clean shoe. I mean, if, if that's the, the if it dude, but this looks like uh Hyper Royal, though. It does look like a Hyper Royal. Oh, that, and then again, it's a mock-up again. So sorry. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Don't... You never know. Mock-ups look better than the real deal, and then... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then the Shack Attack. Nah. Speaking of Jake, Shack Attack. 
September 23rd, which is what? Coming up very soon. This came out uh, probably five years ago, I'm guessing. Uh, 30th anniversary. 170? 170 for the Shaq attack. God. Yeah, you already know Shaq Coppin. He's that guy. They, oh, for sure. I have already. See, Rashard. There we go. I would cop. All right. Sneaker releases. So this was yesterday. Dude, who actually won this? Anybody in the chat? I haven't seen anyone, anybody win. Anybody? No one posted nothing? Nope. Oh, man. We got ads everywhere. Man. Okay. Air Force One Low. Off-White. Brooklyn. In Green. A little silver in there. Uh, let me see. Figures of speech exhibition opening at Brooklyn Museum. Yeah, I think I think everybody that watches the show instantly gets an L. <laughs> Couldn't even sign on. They were backdoored. No one won. No luck. No one in Brooklyn wear green like this. <laughs> S-A. <laughs> I took four L's. Shoe MD. All right, next. Air Max ones, see. Yeah, you want to blame inflation? I know. Here's here, bro, here's a problem. Bro, I just got offered this like three hours ago, right? And then I look at stock X, like, dang, they're selling for like two ten, two twenty, right? And then this guy was like, "All right, I, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll hook you up. Retail plus stats. Like, okay, how much? One ninety. I'm like. <laughs> like that's resale and he's like bro re the re uh, retail was 180 i'm like so like that's not <laughs> 220 don't matter yeah exactly like i'll just what? wait until they hit burlington and they're 59 yeah dude i would literally just buy this and return it to the outlet and then just literally wait it till they put it on the back wall that was, there we go get that extra 30. uh let me see your prices on this ridiculous that's like 2017 there we go some dunks Why? going for 160. Yeah, but 30% off, please. Exactly. An extra 10 on the app and cash back on my card. Every every factor in. <laughs> you sound like one of those cook groups. <laughs> they make Might as well be 250. Their no profits one are cash back. There we go. <laughs> Everything you need to just wait till they Burlington. There you go. 50. Yeah. 59 is what we like. Twenty dollar cleats. I even paid the eighty nine ninety nine premium in Burlington. Oh, but you have to get box. I don't care for box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's the Balvin. There's your light up tongue. Three hundred dollars, September fifteenth, tomorrow. Balvin and Jordan Brand again have joined forces. Twenty twenty two to deliver a new Jordan two collab. Project reflects on his mental health journey in a creative way. I yep. have no clue. I had no you, clue what this uh, was supposed to mean. That means you gotta go high. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan <laughs> forces for the trash can. There we go. Uh, let me see. They will sell out. You would see Edgar wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> Edgars don't know what to wear anymore because if Cowboys don't win, what are they going to wear? <laughs> I actually think they're not bad. I mean, they're not great, but they're not. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're okay. I would wear them if they were back 150. wall. Plus the return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't go out and pay 300 I wouldn't even pay retail for them. Uh, way too much. Saw them in hand very bulky, Shoe MD. I could see that. Yeah, Especially this that, like the battery and the light. Batter. <laughs> battery, you got to charge them. They're like yeah. a Tesla. Uh, I think this is not rechargeable, too. Once it dies, it dies. Once it's done, it's done. I think so. Next. There's coming out more of these? Come on, Drake. Ooh. Settle down with this. I... You're the Hustle B colorway. Drake's pretty hot right now with all his uh music so oh his... 180 bro i <laughs> what do you think, think these that... are gonna be 
I thought it was like 150. Oh man, even 150 might be pushing it. After man. delivering triple black and triple white, now we get the black and yellow B colorway. I feel like I'm being forced to buy this, but <laughs> what size nine push? guys, back wall price. Size nine. Back wall. Next, let's see. Uh, Carhartt and the New Balance. Oh. Ew, Carhartt. Clean? Real clean? I mean, this is something I could wear in my next eBay event. Okay. For one ninety five. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. Marshalls. Marshalls. Marshalls, Marshalls baby. This is going to be back on Marshalls. Guys, we've seen the downfall of Marshalls, but I'm just getting excited every day. Because you know Marshalls will rise again. Oh, you see Marshalls coming back. All right. Marshalls will rise again. Mark my word. Wait, in your area, I know you have less Ross than anything else. Mm -hmm. You have more Marshalls or Burlington? Now Burlington. Burlington's Mm -hmm. been sprouting a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I think Burlington's been taking over. They're like the new spirit store. We talked about Spirit Store earlier, but Burlington's yeah, yeah, yeah. been like showing up on yeah. small Burlingtons, big Burlingtons. These guys yeah, they're are taking over uh, like Toys R Us, right? Yeah, yeah. they're non stop right now. I uh, went to Marshall's today, it was ass, says Roy. Yeah, the last, <laughs> Roy time Mar- the last time I went to Marshall's, I came out with like some spice, <laughs> yeah. some peppercorn spice, <laughs> and a mirror, a big mirror, just stuff for the <laughs> office. That was the all my Marshall TJ Maxx men's shoes section out. Man, our Marshall sucks. Where's Brian? Brian knows what's up. Our Marshalls is rough. Marshall needs to get rid of the cut boxes. It's not like they have more room, like they want more room, but they don't have more shoes to put out. So <laughs> um NMD Animal Print Pharrell. You don't 220. <laughs> guys are crazy that'd be on saturday that is it for the releases so it looks like nike kind of tried to settle down uh for the threes and then now we have the the balvin so i guess that's pretty much it that's Man, it that is it trash trash pharrell trash <laughs> vintage profit i don't know Man. what happened with pharrell man yeah, the same thing. You know, they started just pumping out a bunch of colors and just cash out and bounce. Yeah, just doing whatever they want at this point. Uh, Marshall's has room for more Nautica and RBX for sure. Oh, the toilet water. Yeah, where's our toilet water? It looks like toilet water. All right, let's get to. Let me close this. Uh, some of the finds out there. What have people been finding? And share screen. Here we go. Whoops. Wrong one. All right. Oh, B's going on soon. So B's got like 15 minutes. I only go to Marshall's for the bathroom, says Brian. 100%. Burlington, too. Yeah, the new Burlington. Yeah, not Ross. You still have to ask him to put the code in. I don't like that. Where? At Ro- at Burlington? No, Ross. They have oh, to like yeah, put in yeah. a code to open the yeah. bathroom. Yeah, forget that. Yeah. All right. We've got. Uh, Rico flips on uh, the uh, track. Oh, like some of these sold on the Superfly. The good one, two forty nine. The good one. <laughs> what are they? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Like those are the bathrooms we know. Uh, <laughs> they go bathrooms. What had to ask for a code today at Ross? Yeah, see, we go South Town knows what's up. Uh, B either been taking other fines or we haven't had nothing. Sneakers envy. I have been out in two weeks. <laughs> you gotta drive out there. You gotta go to Chicago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chicago would be it, or go to Atlanta or something. Uh, Mall Texas City. flips. Twenty bucks as well. Yeah. There we go. What are they getting decent sizes? Um, I don't know. We can't see that one. Yeah. They blocked it. That one is a size five. This one is a size 11, so not bad there. 
guess it just depends. Oh, these are the one of the ones that tagged me. Let's see who tagged me. Uh, Kyrie's on Funky Finds. I don't know what size though. Um. Oh, there we go. Burlington, eighty With bucks. Box. box and charger and everything. Wow. Uh, six and a half men's. Oh. That would be a stock X flip. <laughs> <laughs> there it is again. Superfly Elite, twenty bucks. Hustle Crow. Uh, Mr. Root, eBay authentication threshold changed. I have $90 women's superstars and 80 House of Terror in women's sizes sent to Authenticator. Yes, they've changed it, but they're supposed to be fixing it. Okay, you heard it straight from yeah, the representative you like of eBay. You bad use pairs are going there. Like $20 uh, beat up Air Maxes have authentication guarantee. So I think... Uh, <laughs> They're in the process of uh, fine-tuning their robot. <laughs> <laughs> Authentication guarantee yeah. on beaters. Yeah. Um, oh, Union on the hat. Ooh. Oh, somebody tagged me, too. I think they found the other color, too. Yeah, that's a blue one. There it is. There's a blue one. Oh, there it is, yeah. Vegas yeah, Valet. Yeah. Ross on the Union Jordan hat. Dope. Yeah. 13 bucks. They've been pretty lackluster on the hats lately. Uh, no, Ross. it seems like they only have like, they only like sell 100 through Ross. And then like, you know, like, like the tags, we only find like 10, right? Even the Paras. Like mm. what else did you find? The, the height, like. I think someone found the Witherspoon. I think like two or three yeah, of them were the randomly out there. Yeah, yeah, the Witherspoon, the different patches, the quarter yeah. yeah, that's the one, yeah. But I guess with the hats, like they've had a lot of like NBA brand or yeah. surprisingly Burlington's been showing up with like NFL new era oh, stuff. Oh, the lately. Tiger Woods Frank hats. Oh yeah, the yeah. Tiger Woods. Those are really good too. Those are good money. All right. Uh, let's see. We also got eBay Poshman. <laughs> Nine dollars on the miss tag. <laughs> You're like, I like that. Uh, I I mean, this is the this is part of the fun. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is part of the fun. I don't care what size it is. I'm you know I'm robbing Burlington at that point. <laughs> Next, um, let's see more Kyrie sneaker flip find. Um, oh, and the cleats twenty five. Good money. KDs, more of the cleats, size 13 and 11 and a half. So easy I money. Trust, I don't trust KDs. Oh, yeah. Who's been finding these, though? Who's been flipping these cleats? I know they've been good money. I, yeah, I trust football cleats than KDs. <laughs> uh, the Giannis, more Kyrie's, 50. And uh, what is this Air Max one called again? I've been seeing more of those. 43 and the creator at 36. Let's see. Ultra Boost 5.0. Funky Finds. Don't know the price. Might have been 50. More of the Vapor Max. 80 bucks. Yeah. This is like the phone faucet of today's time. <laughs> And it's even like, then, it feels like there's not, like, a ton, ton of them out there. No, is it just no, me, no. or does it feels like there's maybe, like, I mean, it seems like a lot, but. Yeah, when I see anything, like, 89, it brings me back in the day where, like, I'm, like, cringing. because like, man, like, this is such a capital suck. You know what I'm saying? It just, like, if you find 10 of them, like, you've spent 800 already. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dang it. I don't have enough money to source. <laughs> all right there you go there's a lot of money taken on that yeah oh for sure uh let me see next one uh vapor most closet three and a half y but 40 bucks all right in blue uh let me see oh there's little shacks there we go uh most closet in kds at 70 
I have the extended return policy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, like whatever you gotta do, you know? No lose situation. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what keep the receipt. Put it in there. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh so we have one Burlington where of course there's only like one person on register at all times. So the line just gets like crazy long. Mm-hmm. And then the other Burlington, they were like training more people. And the manager was like, all right, just let you know, we're getting timed on everything that we do. So you got to separate everything here. You got to mark, you got to charge it first. Then you got to take off the sensors. You got to do this. They're on top of things that other Burlington mm-hmm. were just slacking it. Just that one poor one worker. Next. Here we go. Retrospective gear. Nice little handful. Wow. There we go. That's Anybody really else wild. in the chat finding more of these? Or are they done? You think they're gone? Or this is I it? Wish. I wish. You're going to hold on till Christmas time? Or are going to sell them now? For I think people I have been selling them 250 to 300 but yeah, you have to they're going to go up. Let me see. Crazy. Um, it's a rule at Burlington. Only have one cashier. One cashier and 12 registers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding. Yeah, Miles holding on these. There we go. Xmas hold. All right. I think retrospective gear went on vacation, right? I think so. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, 50 yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sold my soul. Size 10. Is this the one you can remove? Oh, yeah, that's the one that panel. Yeah, panel remove. Yeah. There we go. Um, also got... Oh, there's the KDs again. We did talk about these at other time. Um, some people have been getting them. Some people haven't. This is the KO. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Not the unpearls. Not the unpearls. Uh, 65 on these. Big money mo. How Indeed. many uh, do you guys get in the chat? How many refurbished stuff do you guys really get? We don't really get. Wasn't it like only certain stores? Uh, certain stores at first? Yeah. 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 Only certain stores. I think at first it was a test rollout, but I think it's final now. Mm. So we have one outlet that's close to me that gets refurbished. Okay. Yeah. And then the it's so weird, like the price fluctuates. Like they kind of have like a kind of like a tier system. Like Air Forces are like 40 bucks. Grade school 97s are like 40. And I think Vapor Maxes are like 80. So mm. it's so good. Extra like 20 or 30. Sheep. But we, I haven't seen any retros like this because oh. ours don't make it to the floor because employees uh, eat them up. Them, yeah. So also probably just depends not only on the model but maybe condition too, or no? Yeah, but but I haven't really seen anything that's that bad. You know, um, they actually start mar- uh, marking them with R. I don't know mm-hmm. if anybody has noticed that they're they're starting with uh, they're stamping them on with R, but it's so annoying because they stamp Whoop. the white sock liner with R. It's not mm-hmm. on the pad. They just stamp stamp it. Yeah. So. I mean, look at that fifty nine bucks. Yeah, that's too cheap. So that was probably like what eighty. Yeah. Something like that, or ninety bucks, something like that, extra thirty. Uh, Cook Kick said, barely any, only one in the LA area that has refurbished. So interesting. Rory, Matt, I get some refurbished, but some is still dirty. Increased, uh, no discount other than 30 off retail or whatever while running that day on the discount. Mm. Um, the regular outlets have used stuff that's returned, no additional discounts. So, yeah, it just depends on outlets. We haven't gotten any refurbished at all. Um, but like B said, I think it's only certain ones anyway. Uh, but there's, I mean, you can find some great stuff, but I guess it depends what outlet. So you got to right, hunt. I'm heading out. I'll go all right. Get ready. All right. B is gone. Yeah. All right. We'll go watch B in a minute. We'll see you. 
All right, I rock. Well, for sixty, I rock those sixes, hundred percent. So not bad. So check out the outlet. See what you got on those. All right. Uh, next, sold my soul. Oh, what was this? Oh, Goodwill. Man, Goodwill. Nice little setup. Oh, that's crazy. This looks like uh, this better than Plato's closet. Our Plato's closet, man, has been down to scraps. <laughs> Goodwill with a setup crazy all right let's see uh under armor backpacks we've seen these as well 250 retail down to 100 um yeah goodwill looking like a macy's finish line 100 <laughs> percent uh let me see sold my soul again 30 bucks that's pretty dope on the jersey uh we also got off white at Goodwill. What the heck? Oh, 80 bucks? Brand new with tag. Sold my soul. Crazy Goodwill. TJ Maxx. Um, oh, we got here we go. Sold my soul again. 13 bucks. Slim pickings. Four days ago on the post. There we go on the GT cuts, my boy. And then let me see. Oh, outlet finds. What? Outlet complete with box? And then you find them without box at Ross. Next, rapid finds. More Kyrie's and the Giannis. uh rams shorts let's see oh no there's the one that uh oh thrifting <laughs> thrifting wizard someone is smart enough to take one vapor max was this near leva maybe let me see because leva also had the uh the half the half found took out the shoe <laughs> there we go <laughs> Oh man. All right. If we go to yeah, good thing they left the shoe condom off. Uh this is just Ross finds in general. These are not any of the posts. Um, here's another one here. Let's see. Canada. Oh, Canada. Some of the ones that were sitting. Uh let me see. What else? What else did people find? There we go. Uh, the Under Armour cleats, which we've seen these as well. People at Smarting Ross, 100%. Outlets, sourcing code. And let me see. There was also... Who found Jordan 1s? And... Of course, they had a hookup or something because they had complete with box. But then someone else also found the Jordan one. So that's going to take forever to find. Um, anyway, they were the uh, the SB. Uh, I tried taking the cover off those today. Ross finally got smart and zip tied the to the laces. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the uh, LA to Chicago was apparently on the ones. Um, so that one, oh, see, here we go. Uh, Russo resells, but someone else also found it too. I don't know how many of them are out there. Size 13 at 65. Uh, on the Russo resells, but someone else did find it too. I don't know how many other ones, or how many other people did find them, but that is wild. I wonder if, because we've seen SB hoodies and tees, is it because it's an SB or part of that? Or is it, or maybe they're just getting some leftover older stuff. I don't know. So just an insane find. It, it, always the one-off finds are the questionable ones. But the fact that, you know, there's been different people finding them, that's a good sign. So you never know. Keep going out there. Let's see what, what, uh, Miles, you know, see what, you know, too legit, Josh, anything, anything that shows up. Let's see. 
for the Ross finds. All right. So only SBI found was a pullover crew neck. So who knows? Maybe more. There was something else that I found this week, too, that was SB. And I was like, I wonder if they're just pulling out more SB things that we're getting. So I don't know. Could be. Appreciate that, Baker Brand. Hit that like button. All right. Anything else going on that uh, you want to talk about before we go? I know we're very close to the hour. Uh, we'll watch the B right now. Got some SB pullover crew net two weeks ago. SA. Oh, John, there we go. Off whites and sneakers. SBT, nothing else. Too legit. Uh, there we go. Inventory planners. Don't care what. Oh, Scoo's resale it is. Cost them their dump and it's sneaker flip find. What else has been out there that, well, obviously that's been on hold is the Vapor Max with the space thing zipper. Um, oh, here it is. Laces and loot. Uh, with the box in a size six. Uh, with the Ross tag and all. And then that's where the one after that came out with the Russo resells. Uh, don't slip. Marshall's lots of Project Rock. There we go. Sneaker Pickers. Um, Air Max 2090 in women's. Um, I'm hoping to find more Vapor Max in women's. Some people have been finding those too. I work at Marshall's. Nothing good no more in shoes. Man, Marshall's has been rough. Nike SB Carpet Company Jacket. NCAA Basketball Elite Jerseys, Mr. Root. Uh, let me see. Still looking for the daps. Yeah, for sure. Miles. Yeah, I haven't seen any of the daps as well. Uh, golf coming back with priced at 39. Says Vic. And yeah, it seemed like a little bit slower week on uh, some of the some of the Ross finds like that after the heat so what i did notice though was a couple of rosses had like cleared some room for new inventory so i'm hoping they'll they'll fill, they'll fill that in need more gt cuts 100 percent a train i mean maybe we'll see more maybe different color like that purple one jacket aisle is tight can't even walk through some of the first off you can barely even see some of them some of the aisles also you can't even walk through them because they're trying to condense uh those those racks. The new small Burlingtons are tiny. You gotta go completely around in order to just try to like squeeze in there too. So and then uh just flipping, I think also got looks like a 270 in the ladies at 50. Let me see. Need oh, already read that one. Yeah, need that one to Chicago to LA on the Jordan one. Crazy how much Ross is charging for Carhartt now. Yeah, I've seen the Carhartt uh, jackets and hoodies. They've been getting a lot more. Uh, the Kyries don't sli don't sleep on the Kyries either at Burlington. There's some good money to be made. Um, the Giannis one, I've only seen small sizes. Haven't seen too much there. And I think someone else also found more Vapor Max and Women's at Ross, but I gotta really go through the uh go through the post and see what's going on. All right, used to make good money in the Carhartt jackets, let goods. Someone comes down the aisle while you're picking Kenny. <laughs> exactly. It's tough out there. Yeah, Kyrie's good money. Good basketball shoe. Oh, there it is. Let me see. Um, Stealthy finds with, let me see, $60 in the women's section on the Vapor Max. Don't know the size as well. Uh, $17 on the Dita Zero. And then there was, um, oh, there we go, 65 on those. Vaporfly, KDs, Air Max 90, don't know the price on that one. That one's for kids. Also kids on the 97s. And again on the 97s, the same one that I found too, 39. Nike military boots, more boots also showing up at Burlington. 
There we go. Yeah, it's not going for a year. There we go. 380 Productions. Now's the time. You never know. Fine, start getting better. Uh, exercise bike and roll machine. You know what? That's a good one, uh, Danny. That was... Let me see where I can find that one. Oh, this one too. Look. on Steph Curry at Home Goods autographed jersey. Framed and all. Compare at 1950 down to 1500 down to 1000. Home Goods and TJ Maxx sometimes get this random stuff. That's pretty dope though. If you don't what if you don't look, you'll never find a Mamba Sita. There we go. Wait for yellow tags as SA 100%. <laughs> Saw that a year ago wasn't worth it. Yeah, they're still priced pretty high. I guess because also, you know, they're framed and everything. They look nice. So they, they price pretty pretty high on the autograph stuff. Uh, let me go back. Let me see. Where was it? There it is. All right. Um, Danny, that's crazy. Compare it 329, then it went down to 179, down to $45. An exercise bike and the row. Both. How much would you pay for that jersey? It'd have to be like, I think off the at least what I could think of, eBay price alone, you could probably good six, seven, but Still at a thousand because of the frame and all of that, but even then, it's like you really have to get that good person that's gonna want to buy it. So they have to go down to 200, 300 bucks. So that's not gonna happen. So crack the glass, get a discount on it, <laughs> Rory Matt. <laughs> yeah, wait for the yellow tag. And even then, we don't even know what yellow yellow tag will probably still be like 800, like 799. So even then, that's still going to be pretty pricey. So, yeah, that's going to be a tough one. And uh, what is this? Oh, too legit. Salutes a service on college, Oregon and uh, Texas Longhorns. Too legit on the golf and uh, 25 and Harachis on the fear of God went down to 38. All right, guess we're done. We're right there at the hour, and B's going live. Good hour show, man. Went quick, so we are uh, we are done. All right, so I'm gonna get my uh, video up and running, get that ready to go for Friday, and uh, keep sourcing out there. Keep tagging me, see what they got. See you guys every single Wednesday, of course, as usual. Appreciate it always, hanging out, and uh, yeah. I will see you on Friday's video too. And tomorrow on whatnot, me and the wife, we're uh, going to go live just selling some toddler stuff, some kid stuff. You can see behind me. There it is. Dunks. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Go out and get it. See you.